Hello students, welcome to Principle of Biology 1103100 lab. Today we will learn how to use the microscopes. There are two types of the microscopes. These are the compound light microscopes and the stereo microscopes. Now, let's start first with the compound light microscope. A compound light microscope has at least two systems, an illuminating system and an imaging system. The illuminating system, which concentrates light on the specimen, usually consists of a light source, condenser lens, and iris diaphragm. Imaging system improves resolution and magnifies the image. It consists of the objective and eyepiece, or another word, the ocular lenses. The objectives are four lenses mounted on a revolving nose piece. Each objective magnifies the image. Its magnifying power is etched on the side of the lens, which are 4x, 10x, 40x, or 100x. The eyepiece is the lens that you look through. Now let's start with how to use the compound light microscope. First, carefully remove the microscope from its cabinet and carry it upright with one hand grasping the arm and your other hand supporting the microscope below its base. Then, place your microscope on the table. If it is necessary, clean the microscope's lenses with lens paper. Next, plug in the microscope and turn on the light source and increase the light intensity. If it is not already in the position, rotate the nose piece until the lowest power 4x objective is in the line with the body tube. The compound microscope provided in Me Fa Luang University Biology Laboratory was designed by the manufacturer to have an additional condenser lens. At this point, turn the condenser adjustment ring in the counterclockwise direction and then turn the diaphragm lever to the left when using an objective with the magnification of 4x. Remember that when using magnification 10x or higher, do not forget to adjust the diaphragm lever to the right. After that, adjust the distance between the eye pieces to match the distance between your pupils. Focus a specimen by using the following steps. First, start with the lowest magnification of 4x. Then, place a microscope slide on the stage. Rotate the course adjustment knob to move the stage within 1 cm of the objective. Then, look through the eye pieces with both of your eyes open. Rotate the course adjustment knob to move down the stage until the image comes into focus. Then, slowly rotate the higher magnification objective lens 10x into place and be sure that the objective does not touch the slide. 
Find forecast image by only turning the find adjustment knob. Adjust the aperture diaphragm so that the brightness of the transmitted light provides the best view by turning the diaphragm lever to the right or to the left within the stop position. At the end of your exercise, make sure that the lowest power objective lens, 4x, is in the right position. And then turn the course adjustment so that it is racked all the way down. And turn the diaphragm lever to the original position. Turn the condenser adjustment ring in the anti-counterclockwise direction. Remove the last slide from the stage and turn off the light source and unplug the microscope. Remove the dust on the microscope's body and carefully clean the lenses with the lens paper. And bring your microscope back to the cabinet and put it in place. Now, let's continue to the stereo microscope. A stereo microscope has a large working distance between the specimen and the objective lens. It is useful in viewing larger specimens and in manipulating the specimen. The large working distance also allows for illumination of the specimen from reflected light as well as from the transmitted light. Reflected light shows up surface features on the specimen better than the transmitted light does. Major parts of the stereo light microscope are illustrated in the figure 1.3 in your laboratory manual book. Now let's start how to use a stereo microscope. First, carefully take the microscope from the cabinet by using both hands to hold the base of the microscope. Then, put the microscope on the bench. And next, plug the power cord of the microscope in the power socket on the bench. And then, clean the objective lens and the eyepieces by using the lens paper. Next, turn the light sources on the stereo microscopes. You can see that the stereo microscope has two light sources, one from below and the other one from above. The switches are at the left and the right side of the microscope. After that, adjust the light intensity by turning the light adjustment scale located next from the light switch. After that, put the specimen on the stage and look into the eye pieces and then adjust the magnification knob to an appropriate magnification. After that, adjust the distance between the specimen and the objective lens while looking into the eye pieces until the object comes into focus. The light intensity can be also adjusted until the image appear on the eyes piece is appropriately seen. After that, when you finish the observation, reduce the light intensity and then move the objective lens into an appropriate position. Then, Take the specimen out from the stage and turn off the light sources. Clean the objective lens and eyepieces with lens paper and then plug off and place the power cord on the microscope stage. Then return your microscope back to its cabinet and put it in the right place. So, we hope that you have learned everything that you need to know about using both compound light microscopes 
and stereo microscope. And you know the parts of each microscope and so forth. And be ready to go for your lab that is coming up here in Principle of Biology course. Goodbye.